Hey friends, it's April. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you stopped by today. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know this channel is a little bit of a mix of our life as a family living life overseas. We're also homeschooling family going into our seventh year here soon. And we have three awesome boys. So if that sounds good to you, we'd love to have you stick around and check out some of our videos. Okay guys, I'm really excited. So I don't know about you all mamas, but I am ready for the school year to be done with. I have loved it. With what we do, I don't get burned out. It's exciting because things change every month. And I'm actually just as excited going into this last unit as I am in the beginning of the school year. But here's why I'm so excited. I'm not so excited just because I'm so burnt out and I need the break and oh, what was me? No, I'm excited guys because we've already picked out next year stuff and I can't wait to get to it. I'm serious, that's how much I love what we do. So I'm really thankful for that. I mean, like I said, this is our sixth year, we're going into our seventh year. We have been through a lot, we have done and tried a lot. So for us to finally, I feel, have found what works best for our family is such a big blessing. So without further ado, here's what we're doing for our very last month of the 2020-2021 school year. So if you've watched a few of our videos, you know that we are a gather round loving family. That is our core, our main curriculum that we use, and then we do some other things as well. So for this last unit um, that we're doing in May, inching it a little bit into June until we go on furlough in June because I do not want to take it with us to the States. I want to keep the the stuff here because we already have our summer curriculum um, that we're doing uh, which is the marine biology unit and a professional chef unit which I have a video on I'll link below in case you want to watch that but anyways I don't want to bring any of the stuff with us that we're doing right now so I want to get it done by like the end of the first week of June and so we are going to be doing for our last unit dun, 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 North America I'm really excited for this one for many reasons uh, one is obviously we live in North America, but another one is um, the country that we live in right now, Lesson 15, hint, hint, is where we live right now. And so that's exciting that we'll get to do um, even more in-depth learning on where we're actually living right now and see kind of what the lesson says compared to what we actually know. Um, and then my boys in general just love a lot of the animals that are represented in this North American unit. They love nature, they love parks. Like, it's just gonna be a really fun unit. So I'm really excited for us to do this together. So we have, my oldest is in the upper elementary and I print and bind off and put it on top because he's a lefty. So it's easier for his hand not to keep hitting against the side. And then my middle guy, um, is in the early elementary and then my littlest guy he's doing the gather around preschool curriculum which is letters and numbers and we're having a blast with it if you want to know any more about gather rounds preschool curriculum check out my video below i'll link it i went into great detail and showed flip throughs through all the book so here's what we're doing different though um this past year every month we did a gather round unit and that was it like boom 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 five days a week get it done next month pick another unit it worked well for us, but I, I talked to the boys at the end of this year and I said, Hey, what worked? What didn't? Which I'm going to have a video on that coming up soon. And what do you guys want to do differently? And they both agreed. We love to gather around. We want to keep sticking with it. But one of them said they would love to maybe incorporate a little extra other things more. So we're trying something different, which I'm going to do a video on in the coming probably weeks or maybe a month on exactly what we're going to be doing next year. But for now, I'm just gonna say that we're trying it out a little bit style-wise for this last unit. And so what it is, is we're gonna stretch it a little farther out instead of four weeks, it's gonna be more of a five-ish weeks, maybe six weeks. <laughs> um, because two of the days each week, we're adding in geology, the geology unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Uh, I ordered this one in, you can print them off, but I did order this one in um, and they come unbound because there's so many extra pages that you use to do hands-on things, um, cutting out and labeling and all kinds of neat stuff. It's a very neat hands-on um, 
curriculum. Uh, this is just science though. Um, even though this is a unit study, it is not like Gather Round where it uh, includes all the subjects. This is just a strictly a science unit study. Uh, when we did Earth Science, which we're finishing up right now, tomorrow's our last day, my sons really enjoyed the geology part, especially one of my kiddos that really uh, it has a fascination and love for geology right now. So this is going to allow us to dig into this even a little farther. So I want to take you guys on a little trip inside each of these guides. But before I do, I want to share some of the extras that we have to go along with this that make it a little more fun. Okay, so the first thing we have is some of the things that they printed off. I did not bring them all down here. We have actually quite a few, uh, quite a big stack of uh, beautiful printed pages that came with the geology unit that my boys will be cutting out as is, like when it when the time comes from each for each lesson or there's different things they're gonna label, um, little trackers, little booklets. It's really, really cool. But I did put together three of them already. These were in, um, page form and I cut them out and because we have a binder I went ahead and spiral bound them and they're they're just cute little booklets this one's on earth forms earthland forms this one's on the minerals and this is a little mineral properties of my minerals book and it's going to be like a little journal thing for them to keep track and this is on sedimentary rocks and so this is just a little bit of what comes with that unit a ton more stuff comes with it. It is awesome. I just forgot it. Um, then we also ordered extra from the good and the beautiful to go with this unit. Uh, the world beneath my feet. Gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. That's going to be fun to do together. And then I'm in love with this book, you guys. Rocks and mineral study. Pretty much every rock and mineral you can think of. They have an in-depth page on them that go into details about every single rock and mineral. Beautiful, right? So that'll be along with our study. And then we also got the rocks and minerals kit. And so let me open that up for you. It comes with, it has this little like chisel block thing. And then it has the, the rocks there. This is my favorite one. I don't know if I can get it to show for you guys. Look how pretty that one is. That is, I'm probably gonna to totally say it wrong, Chaco pyrite. <laughs> it's a mineral. So anyways, we have that. And then I ordered in this mega fossil dig kit. I thought that looked really fun for them to do. And then, because we're doing North America, not just geology, we have loved these 3D puzzles and they're actually not a bad price at all. And so we got a um, New York City 3D puzzle to do together. We have done London and that was so much fun. And so we got um, the New York one. Too. Okay, let's do a little flip through of North America, guys. So let's go to the content page. I flipped a little ahead. When you print from home, you can you know print whatever pages you want. So I don't print all the beginning stuff, but they do have a lot of beginner pages. So here's that in case you want to pause it and see what they're going to be learning about in North America. Then they start with introduction to North America and then they go into Canada first and Greenland and all those places up north. And then after Canada, they go into the United States and I believe there is four lessons at least that I remember that is on the United States. See if we can get in some U.S. stuff. Um, there we go. The, so here's the northern, northern United States. So you know, going to be featuring Alaska, and then it goes into different sections. So then here's the Western United States. And, sorry, guys, it's a little harder for the one. <laughs> Midwest and Mountain West. Look how gorgeous this graph. And then the Northeast United States. And so that's when we'll do the New York City 3D puzzle, which will be really fun. And then the Southern United States. And then after that, they go into a lot of the different um, Southern uh, countries of the North American continent. And so a lot from the Caribbean and 
and more. So we're really excited. I think it's a really good mixture of things that they're going to be learning about. And so I'll give you a little quick flip through of their guides. Well, here is the early elementary guide. And I'll just kind of flip through maybe lesson three. There we go. So lesson three is going to be on Northern Canada. So they're going to draw and color the flag and they're going to color Canada up here. And then they're going to, depending on their age, um, have dictate to you and you write for them or they will write, and my son is old enough to where he will write something he learned from the lesson. Then this page is today we learned about polar bears. Use the information below. And it says to answer the question. So circle or fill in the correct answer. So there's different questions they have and they have a word bank to help. And then over here is their Bible verse that they actually have for them to look at and reference and write down and then their spelling word that they are going to do that day. And then there is for Bible, they're going to be talking about the Northern Lights and light in general that God created and him being our light and our peace. And so they're gonna read about that. And then it says, your turn. As a family, discuss about ways that you've seen God's glory in the sky or nature around you. Read Psalm 19, use this box to write, draw, or dictate. And so then they'll do that. And then on this page, it's a social studies page. They're learning about the territories and they're going to draw lines to connect the industries to the Northwest territories. So that is one lesson for um, North America early elementary. So here is um, upper elementary. So I'm just gonna randomly go to the next lessons, which will be lesson eight. So for the lesson eight, this is upper elementary. It says, while you're listening to the lesson, complete the activities and write notes that you find interesting and use your notes to write two sentences about what you learned in the lines below. Color and label Washington, Oregon, California, and Hawaii. Here's notes they can take and then write their sentence. Then for science, they have where they're learning about surfing in four different types of waves, and they're going to have them describe the different types of waves that they learn about. So that'll be some fun videos, I'm sure. And then the next page is their Bible verse page. A little difference, as you notice from early elementary to upper, is they don't have the reference right here, so they either need to look it up or um, go back to a previous time that they had read in it. And do their Bible verse, and it's longer too. There's longer portions of it than the early elementary. And then it says, use this picture of the surfboard in ways to draw and color or paint your own. You can add details, like maybe your own design on the board. Don't forget to title your picture. So there's a little bit of art in there. And then the last page for the day is for social studies and they're learning about the Polynesian people and the ancient sport of surfing, and so then they have to answer these questions. So here is the geology unit. We're just gonna quickly go through. You can pause this if you wanna see more of the content page. Those are the books I showed already that were optional. Shows you extensions for the seventh and eighth graders, supplies you're gonna need, and then it gets right into it. So lesson one, introduction to geology and the Earth's composition. And so it talks to you about the objective, anything you need to prepare, any activity supplies you'll need. And then the opening activity is, it says display the Earth's landscapes page and, and read the following poem to the children. So that little packet I told you guys, the beautiful printal, printable bundle that came with the set, that page that they're talking about was in there. It's gorgeous. Their graphics are so beautiful. So then we'll read that as they're looking at the page. And then it tells you, it's really easy and step-by-step. -step. Read to the children, what did you like about the poem, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna read in the Bible. They don't give you a version, so you get to look it up in your own Bible, which is nice. Then Science Wall says, read and discuss the vocab cards. Uh, you also, in that printable um, set, you get the, all of the vocab cards. And they they share underneath them which one, uh, what they mean. So then you read that. Then you have an Earth Layers activity says if someone asked you what the earth is made of, what would you say? And so then you're gonna demonstrate to them with a hard boiled egg demonstration. And then they have a video that you watch as well and they give you the link. 
and it says display the image or structure to use as an aid and ask the children these video review questions after they watch the video and then you're going to review these vocab words and then they're going to do their science journal about the layers of the earth so that is lesson one. Oh, here is the earth's landscape so some of the pages are already in here and then some are in the principal path so now i'm just going to do a uh, just a brief flip through just to kind of show you guys what to expect if you order in the geology. Very beautifully printed. I'm really impressed with the layout. I really like the open and go flow that they just tell me exactly what I need to read. And um, yeah, that's it. So there you have it guys. I hope that was fun and informative for you. Let me know below in the comments if you've tried any of these unit studies, whether it's the geology one from The Good and the Beautiful or North America from Gather Round. And I would love to hear how are you ending your year? Are you excited? Are you burned out? How are you feeling? What are you guys gonna do over the summer? I'd love to hear all these things and I will see you guys soon.